Hey guys, uh, Puneet here from Coach. This is video number 11 of step 1 of the advanced chord series called as everything about 7th chords. And in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to combine the major 7th and the 7th that is the dominant chords in one progression. And uh, in today's uh, video, we are going to be learning how to use that in the open shapes for all the open keys. So just before we get into the lesson, I would like to request you to check out my other guitar lessons as well and also the other videos in this series. The link to that is in the description below. And also if you wish to support me and if you think I'm doing a good job, uh, please do stream or download my original music. Uh, I'm providing a link in the description for that as well. And uh, it really helps me in a big way uh, in keeping these lessons for free. So what we've learned in the previous videos is that chords number 1 and 4 are the diatonic major 7 chords in any major key and the dominant chord is the 5th chord of a major key. So 1 and 4 are major 7s and 5 is a dominant 7. So combining this we get a progression uh, 1, 4, 5 going back to 1 because 5 to 5 always resolves to 1. So it will sound like this in the key of C. So we have C major 7, then F major 7, G7, and then C major 7. So in today's video, we are going to be practicing this in all the open keys. And uh, the purpose of this is not only to train your fingers, but also to train your ears because this is one of the most staple progressions of western music and it's used all over the place so the whole point of this exercise is to make you hear the overall sound of this progression as well so that even before you actually try to transcribe a song you can already hear this progression and you will already know that this is a 145 before you even touch the guitar so my advice uh, for this would be to not only learn these progressions for muscle memory but also to uh, be able to identify these in actual songs uh, and to train your ear well. So we'll be doing this again in the caged keys. So C, A, G, E and D. All the chords used in these progressions will be open chords. So the tabs that you will be seeing on the screen are uh, fretted notes on string 6 through to string number 1. X means mute. And for the fingering, uh, you can just see visually what I'm doing and try to follow along. And if you feel you are more comfortable playing it in any other way, uh, please go ahead with that. That's totally fine.
that's it for today's lesson i hope uh, you understood everything that i've taught you and you will practice this really well to develop your muscle memory as well as your ear and if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll be very happy to reply if you understood everything uh, do move on to the next video